Hello, in this video, let's see how to use the unpivot analytics operation now available within a data flow in Oracle Analytics. I have this Excel file that has tax rates for different countries across different years. The tax rate values for different years appears in separate columns. Now I want to unpivot this data set, transform the columns into rows so I can have different years and the corresponding tax rates show up as row values. Let's see how to do this within Oracle Analytics. As a first step, I need to load this Excel file into an Oracle database. Why is that? It's because the unpivot operation in data flows is only available on data sets sourcing from Oracle ADW or an Oracle database connection. So let me create a simple data flow and load this Excel into a database. Let me select a database connection, give it a name, and execute the data flow. Okay, now that we have loaded our Excel into an Oracle database, let's see how to unpivot it. Let me create a new data flow, add the table that I just loaded. Now, let me add the database analytics step. Like I mentioned earlier, this step will show up only when your input data set sources from an Oracle ADW or an Oracle database connection. There are multiple analytics operations available here. I'm interested in the unpivoting data operation. The description here gives me more information about the operation and what database function it leverages behind the scenes. Let me hide the data preview. So the unpivot operation takes a few input parameters. We can have up to three attributes from the input data set that we can carry into the output. Let me choose quantile and geography to be available in my output. So these are the start and the end columns for unpivoting. So all columns between the start and end columns will be unpivoted in the output data set. These are the output columns in my data set. I can choose to have only a few of them and give them specific names. Let me save this data set. Note that the DB connection is already defaulted to the connection of the input data set. This is because the unpivot operation is going to happen in the database using the DB function and the output will also be in the same database. Let me look at the data preview here. I already see how my data is going to be unpivoted. I have the years and their tax rates appearing as rows. Now I want to transform this year column and remove the initial string. So let me add a transform column step. Let me add a substring function so I retain only the last four characters of this column. Like the transform column step, I can add other steps before or after the DB analytics node. So let me leave it at this and save the data set. Let me give it a name and run the data flow. When the data flow executes, the unpivot operation is actually happening by invoking the relevant function in the database. Let's confirm this by looking at the session logs. So this is the unpivot function in the Oracle database that is doing the work for us. Coming back, this is the output data set from the data flow. Let's briefly inspect it. Let me bring in quantile, year and the metric value. So we see that the years which were columns in my input data set have been unpivoted and appear as rows with their metric values. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.